Hello, uh, this is Sim Racing Corner. I have an unboxing today, which is uh, very exciting. And first, first off, thank you to Thomas at Realtus for uh, sending this to me. Uh, he contacted me a few days ago and said, "Would you be interested in reviewing the real, uh, the Realtus uh, Feel Force?" And I said, "Yes, please." And a few days later, this arrived. So this came yesterday, um, and. Uh, didn't manage to unbox it yesterday because um, I was busy on another project. But here we go. It's arrived, a little bit of a mark here, but it should be okay. So let's uh, get straight into it. Uh, so, yeah, if you know, this is, um, <coughs> well, you'll see what it is. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, basically a, uh, a seat cover which has tactile built into it. Uh, which is a pretty interesting little uh, device which uh, well, one sec, well, let's get into this I'll just get into it first rather than me trying to talk my box has taken a little bit of damage but it should be okay right there we go let's have a look on the box that's what it is you can see there's eight uh, little base shapers built into it. Uh, I can hear Simcat, she might jump up in a second. Nicely boxed, the handle. There you go, if by magic, Simcat appears. <laughs> Hello Simcat, that's almost like a magic trick. Come on then, oh, you're gonna get in the way aren't you? As usual, spoiling every video I make. Uh. All right, let's see if I can work around you. Mm. You gonna go now? Why should you do that every time? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Right. We have some instructions and a disc. I don't have a CD drive in my um, or DVD ROM drive in my PC anymore. Which isn't helpful. I'm sure I could download software from uh, their website anyway. See a proper CD uh, and sim. Okay, so it has uh, some software on there. Uh, Fill force control center, sim shaker wheels, and sim shaker wings. Okay, so you can run this with. You can use this with either. Um, Sim racing titles or flight sims. Also, this works with Sim Hub as well, I believe. So you don't need to use this if you don't want to. Also, you can uh, directly uh, run it off audio as well. So you could watch movies with this as well, uh, if you wanted to, or just play any games and just use the audio to get uh, uh, to get kind of base shaker feel for you uh, for your seat. Okay, big old manual. Nice, very nice. Get out of the way. Power cable stuff. An adapter, I assume. Yep, an adapter. Don't need to see that, do you? <clears throat> and this fella. Right, let's get the box out of the way. So yeah, really excited about this. Um, I put a lot of videos out there ready on tactile uh, tutorials and reviews etc because tactile is amazing and uh, this may be suitable for <clears throat> some people who don't have um, <clears throat> a proper sim racing uh, rig because you can just stick this on any seat essentially <clears throat> excuse me got a bit of a frog going on in the throat okay so here's the back so it's got some straps to put around your chair uh, and little controller box attached directly to the cover seems to have a some sort of volume control there and an on off switch USB and audio cables so yes yeah, so if you if you run this directly off your sound you can see there's the uh, the audio that connects to your PC and the sound out. 
and you can put your headphones on there as well so you get a uh, through, uh, a throughput basically and if you want to uh, just run it through, uh, through like SimHub and use Tactile through the telemetry uh, you run it for USB and that'll be the power power socket there Symbols. Okay, let's <laughs> let's turn it over and have a look. Yeah, nice straps. This means you can uh, attach it to any seat, and it should stay nicely uh, in place. <coughs> ah, okay. There's a zip opening there, so you can uh, you can see how it's put together. Okay. Right. So um, you can see it's a cushioned seat. It's got this like pleather style thing. Nicely stitched. I mean, um, look at that. See the logo there. So one thing I'm curious about these uh, types of um, this type of device is how com comfortable it will be, because um, inside you have uh, your tactile obviously you've got cushions uh, but yeah obviously because you've got these physical um, little uh, uh, base shakers effectively is it going to be is it going to be comfortable when you sit on it because I can feel it I definitely feel it you can just see as we uh, as I push it down you can just see those bumps so that's one of them that's another one of them there's one there so you're directly sitting on these so that'll be under your uh, and your oh, it's kind of thighs that'll be I guess under your under your knee your cheeks. <clears throat> so I'm I'm interesting to yeah interested to find out you know, how comfortable this will be sitting on it for uh, an extended period of time. I mean it's nicely cushioned. Uh, and then you have lower back and upper back. Interestingly, they're not like round pucks that you might expect in normal transducers. They feel um, slightly kind of rectangle. I wonder if we could have a look, have, take a peek inside actually, see if there's anything I can obviously get to. I don't want to uh, tear it down. I'm not a uh, sim racing garage. Because he reviewed this, I think, about a year ago. And he had a look inside. Uh, interesting. No, I can't get to it. It's just foam. You can just see it's kind of like a high density uh, foam there. <clears throat> so I'm not going to be testing this video. This is merely an unboxing to have a look at it. Um, so this costs 199 uh, US dollars. I don't know if there's uh, postage on top of it uh, because this was sent to me for review. But um, I expect there is probably some sort of postage, but I don't know what that is. I think my first impression is it's actually very nicely made. It's a it's a good standard. Everything is stitched, um, yeah, you know, with a high precision. It's uh, very tidy on the edges. Slightly breathable. You can see there's little uh, little holes in the pleather there, and uh, and well cushioned. So it'll be in that sort of position. Yeah, I do like the idea of this. Um, <clears throat> fact is, yeah, you can use it on any seat. It means if you don't have, um, you know, I, um, this is, I think, perfectly suited for like gaming chairs, office type chairs, um, and it also fit very nicely. I can see now, um, just across over there, <coughs> is my <clears throat> is my sim rig, and it will just sit there on my uh, Sparco R100 seat very nicely, and just go over there and. And uh, yeah, it'll fit in there. It's not too um, not too wide. I got my seat's quite slim, so uh, this should pop in there quite nicely, from what I can tell. There you go. So I will uh, I'll check this out. I'll put this on Simrig after this and uh, give it a quick go. Although this won't be part of this video, uh, I may do a, a quick um, talk and drive maybe in the next couple of days. Uh, but expect a review in about three weeks' time. For this yeah if you're interested there yeah drop your comments below the video um, and uh, yeah if you have any questions uh, I can answer 
But yeah, so far I'd say pretty nice. I expect I'll be using this with SimHub. Other thing, what you what you can do is um, you should be able to. Uh, <clears throat> well, hopefully you can. Anyway, is as uh, maybe change the different effects. Yeah, uh, direct the effects of the different uh, pucks. I'm not sure. Maybe you can. Um, but since you do have, I do have different software I can try it with. Uh, SimHub and uh, the SimShaker software, which I've never used before. Maybe you can kind of add effects so it makes uh, to have, um, I guess, left and right effects for uh, your tyres, which side of the car you're getting effects from, uh, and maybe uh, again sort of uh, isolate certain effects like for gear changes and other sort of things, car vibrations to certain pucks. I don't know, I'm just making this up now, uh, but possibly, but I'll find out, won't I? But that'd be cool if you could. Um, but yeah, nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, proper commercial product to a good standard. That's what I see here. Uh, so yeah, pretty nice so far. Uh, so yeah, look out for my review uh, in, in the coming weeks. And I think we're we'll ending now. I've got nothing more to say really. There you go, one last look. Sweet. Again, thanks Thomas and uh, thanks Realtus for sending me this to review. So, uh, okay, uh, I'll be back in the next, uh, I guess, couple of days, maybe tomorrow with another video of some description. So uh, stay tuned, happy simming out there, and bye-bye for now.